Physicians are not always able to make a firm diagnosis. In those cases, they ask a colleague for a second opinion. This colleague does not necessarily have to be in the same location. These days, you can also transmit extensive patient data over the internet, for instance, to the University Medical Center Freiburg in Germany. The International Medical Services IMS department offers physicians and patients around the world a second opinion via teleconsultation. Maria onyschenko dubov explains the second opinion program. Second opinion is a valuable option for patients facing difficult health situations. First of all, they can get an opinion of a German doctor without leaving their home country. They can get more information before they decide or choose a certain medical treatment. They can send us radiological images. They can request a teleconsultation with a German doctor. They can reconfirm their diagnosis and with their physicians talk to a professor from University Medical Center Freiburg. University Medical Center Freiburg uh, was the first institution, one of the first institutions in Germany um, to organize, to establish a special medical uh, department, International Medical Service Department for foreign patients. Due to our extensive contact to each of the foreign patients, we recognized the need to provide teleradiology and teleconferences. Many patients bring their CDs or, or with MRIs or CT scans or CAT scans, um, medical reports of their relatives and ask us to uh, provide them with a second opinion. The IMS department establishes the connection between patients and physicians in Freiburg and handles organizational issues before the teleconsultation. We try to keep it as simple as possible. First of all, a physician, the primary physician and the patient send to Freiburg all the medical reports and have to um, fill out a request form that you can download on our website. We also ask patients and doctors to really formulate concrete questions to German doctors. After that, our International Medical Service Department contacts the professor or medical specialist in Freiburg and either offers a concrete date of teleconsultation or asks uh, patients to provide extra information, extra medical reports. Teleconsultations take place in the foreign partnership facilities of the IMS. Aside from the consulting physician, there is also an interpreter. A conference can be organized within a few short days. University Medical Center Freiburg provides teleconsultations via secure telecommunication teleconference system. We do not use Skype due to confidentiality problems. So the institutions that want to cooperate with us have two options. One option is um, to establish the same teleconference system. Second option is less expensive, is to just download a special software on their computer. Very important is to have a very high-speed internet and a camera. Professor Elmar Cotter is the head of radiology at the University Medical Center. Before he is able to conduct a teleconsultation, he needs to obtain all pertinent patient information. We primarily need information on why the exam was carried out, what the medical condition of the patient is, and as much additional clinical data as possible, the examinations that have been performed so far and their results. These are essentially computer tomographic and magnetic resonance imaging examinations, meaning CT scans and MR exams, and increasingly also PET CT scans. The second opinion from Freiburg provides patients with a firm diagnosis for severe illnesses such as cancer. However, physicians are also able to learn by getting in touch with the German experts. We have already used teleradiology for the past seven years here at the University Medical Center Freiburg and noticed over time that the partners we regularly work with were also able to improve their examination reports because they received continuous feedback from us on the quality of their exams and tips on what they might potentially do better. Thanks to teleconsultation, the physicians in Freiburg help to improve the quality of life and treatment success of their international patients. I would recommend this for every patient who is faced with a serious diagnosis that potentially involves an extensive or high-risk treatment. When the patient 
When a patient requests a second opinion from the attending physician, it does not constitute distrust towards the primary attending physician, and even if the doctor requests it on his or her own, it is not an admission of his or her own inability, but rather an indication that this physician wants to achieve the best possible outcomes for the patient. The IMS department continues to expand its international contacts. For hospitals around the world, teleconsultation is not the only interesting aspect. We are currently discussing cooperation opportunities with several hospitals in Dubai and Iran. They are mostly interested in teleradiology and teleconferences. However, they also uh, showed interest in teleteaching, so telelecturing for their nurses and doctors. At this point, we have established regular so-called teleteaching programs with individual partners where we regularly discuss protocols and examinations via teleconference with our colleagues, similarly to how we would also do this here in Freiburg in our department.